Hello, my name is Worthy, a professional Valorant coach. If you're looking to climb the ranks and improve your overall gameplay, you definitely want to leave a like and a sub and enjoy the video. So you're going to run through the smoke right now. You have no control over the site. There's one to your left, one to your right, and there's probably one still in hookah at this point because Breach was there before. And jumping out would be counterproductive for Breach. There's your elbow guy. Good. Good patience there. Really good patience. And a lot of people would just jump into a spray right away. Going into the smoke's not a bad idea. I like that. There's probably still one hookah right now. Yep, there he is. Now, where is the planter? Um, n now, I, I know now that she's on the other side of the box, but in my head, I was like, maybe she's garden, maybe she's... Okay. I don't know. I, I, I didn't know. Here's how you know that she's not garden. No plant. She plants? Listen. Hit. Oh my god, yeah. She stopped walking, so she has to be... She's been walking she the be entire garden. time. She's been walking the entire time. So there's no way she would have been able to get to garden in the yeah. speed that she was moving, right? So she has yeah. to be on site. Has to be yeah. on site. Nice. The last one was long. See, you got caught up yep. by the... Oh shit, but that was that was this information that you didn't take in. That's all that was. No. And this is a good move on your part to fade away into the wall and just like accept that you weren't going to win that fight. And this actually will set up your jet to get this free kill. So you actually made a really good like split second decision when you got caught out. You knew you weren't going to win, you pulled away, and that was really good. But one's on site, one's long. I think they might put one on that. Okay. You heard one teleport, and if you watch the minimap again, look where Omen is. But one's on site. You hear Omen reloading. Okay. But one's on corner. site, one's long. Oh, yeah. He reloaded. Oh, he did, my He didn't goodness. run, right? The same situation as the first round. He did run. He yep. didn't hear a TP. He heard breach TP. So all I was saying was left, 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 left. Oh. <laughs> so these are little awareness things that with a little bit more increased skill on the driver's protocol, and this is just going to take some more time, I think you would totally you spike, you spike. be able to pick up all this information. All you need to do on this round, because you're on bonus, is just get like one. If you can get two, it's amazing. Notice your crosshair placements this entire time. Okay, watch this again. Last player standing. There's one showers for sure, one in U-Haul, and one is probably short. Look at where mm -hmm. your crosshair is right now. Like, I think you're trying to like expect him to swing you or something like that. But like, you're so close to the wall. Doesn't make sense. You put it here, yeah. you can catch someone who swings you from here as well, right? So it's much, it's just one of those things. Yeah. Just focus on getting one. Just, just shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. It's like two shots for that. That was really good. Like the crosshair placement there was perfect. The head level was perfect. We want to be seeing that more often. And I feel like if you're rotating and practicing that, you're just going to get more in tune with doing it. In this round, we're going to talk about tonality in your comms. So you're you're calming a lot in this squad, which is really good. I really like to see that. But now we just need to take it to the next level. So let's listen to how you say this. Let's save for next race. Let's save for next race. Okay. And notice how you said it again. Let's let's listen to it. So it's kind of neutral. It could be uh, construed as a little negative because you're kind of placing blame slightly with your tone. And the other thing that you're doing too is you're commanding people, right? You're commanding. This only works in a team environment where you've built trust with people. Okay, Novsky, how many times have you played with him? Never. Never? Yeah. No, I did, this was a solo queue, yeah. Yeah, this is your first time ever playing with him, right? So it's kind of like you going up to someone off the street and saying, hey man, fuck off. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you don't you don't really yeah. know, you don't know the person to say that. But if you went to that, went up to your friend and you say like expected, you say, hey man, fuck off. You'll be like, ah, nah, fuck you. And then you, just, you guys like shake your hands and shit like that. Like it's like, you know, it's like it's two different atmospheres, right? So yeah. whenever you're yeah. commanding someone to do something, they're never going to respond the right way. They're going to tell you to fuck right off and they're going to do whatever mm -hmm. they want to do. In fact, it's probably mm -hmm. going to encourage them to continue to do the things that, they, that you don't want them to do because they want to try to prove you wrong at that point. Nobody likes to be wrong. Counter with curiosity, because sometimes asking these questions, like you can say, hey, Raze, I noticed that you're buying a Phantom while we're all buying Sheriffs. Just curious what your thought process is right now. Like, what is it that you want to do so I can help you out, right? So mm -hmm. like like yeah, yeah. asking these questions, sometimes they'll be like, oh, you're right. Why am I buying no, right now? Sometimes they'll just, they'll just fix themselves, right? So listen to what happens here. 
Okay, so as soon as you hear scatter, that means omens ulting. Okay. The other way you can know is if you look at your menu map, right? Everything's getting uh, fogged yeah. up. Okay. So scatter. Listen. Okay. Scatter. Boof. You hear that boof sound? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let's listen to it again. Scatter. Boof. You can feel smoke. that. You can feel that on the yeah. right, right? He threw yeah. that smoke behind you. And when he says scatter, scatter. boof. He's on your right. And you'll know if he cancels because this will go away really fast. But if it doesn't go away and it's holding for a while, he's stuck it. He's definitely stuck it. Fun little fact here. Watch your minimap. Oh my god. There? Yeah, he's right there. Oh. Yeah. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Yeah. What? He should have oh. waited. He should have waited, actually. That was bad trigger discipline on his part. Because he could have walked right in and killed both of you there. <laughs> Your jet is still not aware that there's something going on. It's crazy. And there goes another. <laughs> he has no idea. No idea that it's happened. That's crazy, man. I wish I had that much value on my omen ults. I'd be omen ulting behind everyone all the time, but it doesn't work with that at a high level. People, people shoot yeah. my shit. So let's listen to this line of communication, and then we'll dissect it a bit. And, and trust me, man, I know how frustrating this shit can be, but you need to understand what it is that you can control and what you can't, right? Yeah. You can make mild suggestions, and you can you can ask questions and all that good stuff. The worst thing you can do is a line of questioning is going to make him lash out at you, and then all of a sudden everything's fucked, right? Your entire your entire forward momentum is fucked at that point, right? Yeah, I'm gonna be very very careful with how you talk to people. He's getting light. I could have said like, get full don't get, so yeah. like I I could have I could have said like oh don't forget shields or or something like that. I, I don't yeah. mother him. Don't mother him. Like he's okay. gonna he's gonna okay. live his life right like no patronizing just just let him do his thing maybe oh. he's just a little bit lost right maybe he's in a stage yeah. of his development with learning this game that he needs to make more mistakes so that he yeah. can he can better understand what's going on maybe he has a plan with his his light shields maybe he's seen that everyone's been buying vandals on the other side so there's no sense in me buying a full shield right mm. um, maybe he's looked at his 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 uh the gun situation yeah look at that look at the economy situation they're all gonna be mm. full buying anyway so maybe I'm gonna take a close range fight, or that's the way I want to take it. So if it's a phantom, it doesn't matter. He's getting light oh. shields. Raise, get full shields. Shield. Yeah, see, both of you guys are just jumping on it right now. Just let him, let him do his thing. Raise. We oh. need, to, we need to create. I say this all the time. We need to create an environment where it's okay to make. He might not be making a mistake. He might be just like taking a close range fight, and you know what's the difference there at that point. So yeah, it's just create an environment for yourself first, where mistakes are okay. Because if you do that, then you're going to be more free in how you play. You're going to be less stressed. There's going to be less emotional investment into it. You're going to make better decisions overall. Because you mm -hmm. just need to accept that you're going to be making a shit ton of mistakes. You're going to be wrong in every single game. You have 13 games minimum within one game where you can make a, make a situation get fucked up just by like one decision. So mm -hmm. it's totally fine. And everyone's at their own state of, stage of development. We just need to support them. So I like what you're doing. You're fading in and out. You see him. At this point, this is where I would take a couple shots, and if I don't kill him right away, I would fall back. Here. But see how you stand still here? You're like so committed. So this is an mm, all-in peak yeah. right here. An all-in peak is high here. You would have killed Bre uh, Breach, and then you probably would have gotten Omen afterward. But you you went a little bit too fast in this situation. So you tuck against this wall, right? This wall right here, and then you just skim out. You clear out pocket, and then you go out here and you clear out close you probably have to flick upwards towards omen because you wouldn't expect it to be up there and it's like a 50 50 at that point make sense yeah now you still you still would have had time to be able to single out both those kills and then defuse it where's the oh shit line um already in front of me uh hey. it, it's it's yeah yes sir man it's godzilla <laughs> it's not even Shaq at this point, it's fucking Godzilla, bro. It's still yeah. Godzilla. It's still Godzilla. Oh my god. Oh, it's Michael Jordan. You never know. It might oh, invent man. a new character in the mid-game. Jesus. Jesus. Okay, you're not you're not too far off here. You need to be like right here, I think it is. Okay, now you're good. 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 You Perfect. Rotate. Perfect. Oh, you're good. You're good. Oh, so close. Got him. That's that sucks. Oh no. Where's the oh shit protocol, sir? 
as Where's, soon as I, line? yeah, as soon as I crossed out of, into the, right here, yeah. reload right, right, right here. here, right here, yep. you don't need to move, yep. you're in animation, motherfucker, oh, oh, 